Today, I want to talk about a very cool technology from NVIDIA called Reflex that aims to boost your competitive gaming performance. In this video, I'll be explaining the following key things about NVIDIA Reflex. What is latency and why does it matter for gaming? How NVIDIA Reflex works to reduce system latency. The components you need to enable Reflex. How to set up the Reflex Latency Analyzer. The future of Reflex technology. So if you want to understand this game changing latency reduction tech from NVIDIA, definitely keep watching. Let's start by understanding what latency is. There are two main types of latency to know about network latency and system latency. Network latency represents delays between your gaming actions and when they register on the game server, high network latency leads to laggy gameplay. System latency is more important for our discussion on NVIDIA Reflex. This refers to the total time it takes from when you click your mouse or press a keyboard button to when you actually see the action happen on screen. The lower your system latency, the more instantaneous and reactive your gameplay will feel. This is especially crucial in competitive, fast-paced titles like first-person shooters where every millisecond matters. So what contributes to system latency? There's a whole pipeline from device input to final display output. Time for mouse click to reach your PC. Time for PC to process the action. Time for GPU to render the frame. Time for display to show the final output. That's what NVIDIA Reflex helps reduce. The key innovation with NVIDIA Reflex is how it handles the render queue, which is basically a backlog of frames waiting to be rendered by your GPU. Traditionally, a long render queue causes delays. Increasing overall latency, Reflex clears this queue by perfectly syncing your CPU and GPU operation. This means frames are prepped by the CPU and rendered by the GPU with almost no queue buildup whatsoever. So your PC reacts much quicker to your clicks and key presses. Reduced system latency translates directly into a more responsive, competitive gaming experience. Since Reflex is an NVIDIA technology, you will need a few basic components. First, an NVIDIA GeForce 900 series or newer graphics card. Luckily, even older generation cards support Reflex. Second, a Reflex compatible game popular titles like Apex Legends, Valorant, Code Warzone, and more already work with Reflex. And finally, access the in-game setting to toggle Reflex on. It's usually under the video or graphics options. That's all you absolutely need. But there are a few optional extras for the best experience. To accurately measure exactly how much Reflex is reducing your system latency, NVIDIA offers a special Reflex Latency Analyzer tool. This requires two additional pieces of hardware, AG Sync Monitor with Reflex Latency Analyzer built in and a Reflex optimized gaming mouse. With everything connected, the analyzer can detect mouse clicks and perfectly measure input, processing, and display latency in supported games. You'll see real-time system latency readings so you can observe the concrete improvements from enabling Reflex. NVIDIA will continue expanding Reflex capabilities and compatibility across more games and hardware. The underlying tech can also evolve from simply reducing render queues to even tighter optimization between CPU and GPU operations. And perhaps NVIDIA will offer an advanced software latency analyzer usable by anyone in the future. So in summary, NVIDIA Reflex delivers lower system latency for a more reactive competitive gaming experience through state-of-the-art syncing of your CPU and GPU EKB activity. Be sure to toggle it on in supported titles and consider the latency analyzer for concrete proof of lower lag. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new about NVIDIA Reflex and how it can improve your gaming performance. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.